Welcome back. Hey, super moms, Jasmine included. You're doing an awesome job. There's just one thing we all need you to do better, and that's take some time for yourself. That's right. We have Erin Heidelberger here, and she's a mom of three, a certified parent coach, and she's here to offer some advice. Putting the me back in mommy. Welcome to First Coast Living. Hi, guys. Hello. Great seeing you. you. Thanks okay, for having me. So you are the founder of Get It Together Mom. Tell that's us, how right. did that come about? Well, you know what? Pretty organically, I have a business degree, but what happened 15 years ago when my first son was born, it turned out I was doing something differently from my mom's group, which was maintaining a sense of myself. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> right. Go figure. Yeah. yeah. Shocking, shocking idea. <laughs> what, what kind of reactions did that get? Um, you know what it got? Everyone was like, what are your secrets? Why are you leaving lunch at 1.30? Like, where are you racing to? And I said, well, Cole is going to nap from 2 to 4, and I'm going to sit on the couch and watch TV. And they're like, I want to know. I want your life. <laughs> and so that's how Get Mom was formed, just casually coaching my friends, and then it turned into a business. So these are simple ways that they can do this, right? A hundred percent. I was raising my firstborn before reality TV, before social media, and I just kept thinking, like, why... Why, aren't, why isn't there like a book that just says like, one, two, three, this is how you do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, so what's, your, what's your process? Do you have like a, a four step, five step, six step? I have a seven step process. Okay. It begins with sleep and it ends with happy mommy time. Oh, that's, that sounds great. <laughs> right? okay. I, I like the beginning, beginning and the end. end. And then in between gets you to the end. So yeah. do you have like a, is there, is it physicals? You brought a calendar with you. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about this. Well, so I feel as moms, like all we're doing is catering to our kids' endless wants and needs. Our household to-do list, it doesn't stop. And so we're on the back burner. We forget about ourselves. And, but it doesn't have to be that way. If we make the commitment and we demand balance and we talk to our friends and family, that things are going to change. And what we do, we take the calendar. Like, this is my holy grail. I am old school. I love pen and paper. And mom is going to take her planner. I don't care what form. And she's going to mark in her mommy time. You can't pencil it in because then you can erase it. So I'm all about planning in the mommy time. As you say, stop, stop talking, start doing. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. And, and that commitment to yourself. And delegating, right? Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? As soon as mom embraces the idea that she doesn't have to do everything for everyone and she just needs to start delegating, she has to remember she has a partner. She needs to give him a list of things he can do the to take off list. her plate. <laughs> right, absolutely. Exactly. And then what about the kids? I mean, they have arms, they have legs, yep. they need to understand how much work it takes yeah. to run a household. And I'm all about chores. Yeah. I'm all about, like, check this I big chore list. <laughs> I, I love it. it. Like, and here it is. It's in black and white. The kids know exactly what you expect of them. They do their list, and then they get to have their fun time. But this comes first. This is so old school because we had, I, growing up, we had the little thing. You check right. the box. Did you do the dishes today? Check. Did you do this? I know. And how satisfying is it? Yeah. Like to, <laughs> to get Absolutely. it done. Absolutely. Get it done. Get it together. And you're teaching your kids, too, at the same time, like a to-do list during a day. And right. that's going to, I mean, it's just learning how to learn. And learning how to structure one's day yeah. is huge in growing up and going into the world and being self-sufficient. So what about hiring a mother's helper? Oh, okay. Well, so right, like you said, I am a mom of three boys, and I have been doing this all summer because a mother's helper is a third the price of a regular babysitter. Like, you know what? The, the point of mommy time, it doesn't have to cost a lot. Often it's free if we just hire up and we expect and demand greatness for ourselves. Yeah. You know, I always say to my clients that get mom, like our partners, they're not mind readers. They're not, like they know we're drowning. They know we're unhappy. Yeah. But it's up to us as moms to say, help, this is what I need. And, and y'all also got to start saying no sometimes, that's right. right? Oh my, well, no is, I mean, that is one <laughs> of my favorite words. So, I mean, here's the thing. We receive as families endless invitations to do things that we're, we're like, oh gosh, another barbecue, or I don't want to go see Aunt Edna. <laughs> and the more we say no, the more we can say yes. And mom can say yes to taking just one hour away from her family. Again, this is free. It's free for mom just to lay in bed alone and right. like, shut the door and lock it and hibernate. Yeah. Great advice, great advice. Thank you Thank so much you. for being here. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. We're going to share this segment with the other, and you can share it with the other families. We're going to post it on our website, firstcoastliving.net.